Now it's business as usual in Soweto this morning after rumours of a national shutdown today. Calls for a shutdown have been circulating on social media and law enforcement agencies are on high alert in areas that were hotspots during the looting in KwaZulu-Natal and Gauteng last month. The National Joint Operational and Intelligence Structure said at the weekend that measures were in place to ensure the safety and security of all South Africans. Well, our reporters are fanned out across the country, just uh, keeping an eye on those developments. So for more, let's head to the East Rand, where Matlako Kumani and Herbert Mimela are on standby to tell us what's happening there. Matlako, good morning. Where exactly in the East Rand are you and what's happening? Yes, good morning to you, Sakina. We are in Fosloras on the East Strand. Uh, you'll remember this was also, you know, a place where we saw those chaotic scenes that took place in terms of um, the lootings. We we're just outside uh, Chris Honey Crossing. There were also lootings there. We also saw the cleanups that ha um, happened there as well. We are with, um, you know, the, te the various taxi associations that are uh, within the East Strand, and they have been patrolling the area, which is the Fos Loras area. Um, you know, when we ask them what is it that they are doing here, telling us that um, you know they were going to places where they like shops, um, looking out for people that uh, perhaps were you know trying to loot or perhaps um, take things from shops, just to ensure that there is order. But I am joined by um, one of um, the gentlemen that uh, had decided to be part of this patrolling by um, taxi owners and taxi associations, Mr. Sabelo Ntuli, and he's just going to tell us how long have they been here and what is it that they found when they were, you know, patrolling around the Fos Loras area. Mr. Ntuli, thank you so much for talking to us. Each one is a spider is all low, then Nabuma one from one, Sichek and Nobabes Bonnet, Sizama Heme Moguti, then Napin the ones that are another looting. We are just patrolling all the first of us, uh, malls, and then until Sahamba Nabuma close to six years, the second one on this crazy animal, and then Namta is a work center for two or four. So, so, association and and then we are here until yes. And then you know, you told me that you know, we should go to even Nikalu Zolo, Nizuile, and have a little bit of an intention. And started from Zolo, Ngaboma, 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 past nine. Started Omuny, Omuny, Umfana, and the best color of Lucha. Some chatter or hamba, why a police station for us? It's gonna be Bushu Zolo, and then the buses for an amplifier for the second check with the. When Zagala and Namsaja started to cover foot all these malls around Fosoras, then Sicheke, and then Sponsor Wuti, then there's no more looting. As you heard there, Sakina um, Sentuli, you know, saying that they have started this operation as early as last night around nine o'clock in the evening, saying that um, they also found one, um, one boy, he says, that they had found who had started with the looting. And, you know, they took him and they took him to the police station and he's currently at the police station. They, um, they caught this one gentleman. But then they also decided to start, um, you know, come back again and start patrolling from around about one o'clock in the early hours of the morning. And they also came again at four o'clock this morning just to ensure that, um, you know, there is order within this township. Also saying that they had, you know, this, this looting, the previous looting that we saw in July, had, had cost them quite a lot in terms of money. But uh, we will be here in Fosloras, Sakina, uh, bringing you the very latest of what is it that is happening here. And it's back to you in studio. Uh, Masako, just before you go, uh, that is, of course, the taxi association. Where are the police and other uh, law enforcement authorities at this stage? 
Sakina, so, the law enforcement agencies or, um, you know, that I saw this morning was on the highways. We saw a lot of JMPD on our way here. We saw also, um, you know, police vehicles that are stationed um, within various parts of the N3 because we had to use the M2 and the N3, uh, M3 to get here. But in terms of the, the, the First Loras Township, I haven't really seen any uh, police. I just saw one police van passing here a little bit earlier on. But either than that, I have not seen um, law enforcement within the township, but I did see uh, highway patrollers in terms of Metro Police, Sakina. Masako Kumani, thanks so much. Uh, update from Fosloris on Gauteng's East Rand. So earlier on, uh, we uh, had a crossing. Leanne spoke to Jade Lee uh, Poulter, who was on the N3 at the Mway Plaza. And uh, she did indicate that some of our other uh, uh, colleagues were elsewhere in the province. So for an update uh, in uh, Phoenix, in KwaZulu-Natal, we cross now to our reporter, Simpiwe Makanya. Simpiwe, good morning. And of course, uh, we know that uh, as Phoenix, of course, was at the center of of uh, developments during the last looting spree. What's happening there this morning? Indeed, Sakina, good morning to you and good morning to the viewers as well at home. I can tell you, Sakina, that uh, since we arrived here in Phoenix at about 6 o'clock this morning, uh, the situation has been, you know, that of being, you know, relatively calm. Uh, I have been driving around the area and I can tell you that it's been business as usual since we arrived here. I'm just going to step out of the shot to ask my colleague to learn to give you a sense of uh, what is currently happening. You see different people, you know, going about their normal lives. Some of them are going to work. You see the taxis on my uh, far left are, are, are already stationed waiting to pick up you know passengers to various uh, destinations uh, of course uh, Sakina you know uh, this uh, particular area where we are the area of Phoenix has been you know a talking point for months now following of course the uh, recent killings uh, that took place uh, during that unrest uh, which was experienced in July in the month of July and the police uh, minister has been frequenting this area you know coming here to engage uh, community members and telling them basically about uh, what are some of the steps uh, that police have uh, since been uh, been able to take in terms of trying to bring about normality and calm in the area and also ensuring uh, that uh, those who are responsible for the killings are brought to book you know uh, oh the latest information with regards to that is that uh, over 30 you know people have since been arrested uh, following of course those uh, you know killings uh, which took place in this uh, particular area uh, of uh, phoenix as i speak to you now sakina the situation is relatively calm. Uh, it's business as usual. I did hear earlier on when you spoke, when you're speaking to my colleague there, uh, uh, asking about the police visibility. And I can tell you that from where we are, we have not been able to spot a single uh, police officer or any of the members of the South African National Defence Force. Of course, of, because of course, you know that uh, they have been, you know, deployed in this uh, province of KwaZulu Natal as well as Houting to try and you know maintain law and order at the moment the situation is that it's relatively calm uh, nothing out of the ordinary seems to be happening uh, businesses have not opened as yet but uh, there's no indication uh, that uh, they will not be opening because of the reports uh, that uh, you know have been circulating on social media and of course we had the premier of KwaZulu Natal yesterday issuing a statement saying that uh, it's going to be business as usual in the province of KwaZulu Natal and law enforcement you know agencies remain on high alert Sakina well, thank you so much, uh, Simpiwe Makanya in Phoenix there for us. And uh, we'll check in with our reporters throughout the morning uh, just to monitor the situation because there has been uh, threats of a national shutdown, uh, such messages actually doing the rounds on social media. Uh, well, uh, this time around, we're not going to be caught flat-footed, our reporters out in full force uh, to monitor those developments. But, of course, it's also going to be interesting to see how law enforcement uh, deals with the eventualities and um, you know one wants to say touch wood that nothing actually happens but when you see what's happening in Fosloris, for example, where Masako Komani is, where you have the Taxi Association 
out in full force to protect them all. Uh, it raises all sorts of questions. Again, the Taxi Association, then you have uh, private security associations also. Seemingly, they are ready from some of the messages that we are getting uh, to also step in and protect businesses where they are contracted. And we, we honestly have to really look at uh, what ultimately happens, but also raises questions around uh, the rights and what uh, these entities actually can and cannot do, Leanne. Uh, so quite a bit going on. Yeah, there certainly is. And uh, as you say, being caught flat-footed, it, it, uh, it, it, it felt that we were more on top of it than the police at the time. Uh, when we go eventually. back to those days. We eventually. Really were. eventually, we were there, but there were no police. We don't yeah. want that again. So, you know, but, but uh, what we're reporting this morning and what we've gathered from, from as we opened the show, we've been crossing to reporters. Everything is calm and everything looks very, very normal this morning. There are no incidences what, whatsoever. So uh, we're keeping a very close eye on that. There will be a briefing as well. I think that's happening in Gauteng. Is that correct? I think the, the MEC... We'll be giving a briefing a little bit later on just to uh, inform us as to plans going forward. But we'll, we'll bring you all of that live and any other development, we'll have it covered here.